Prime Minister of Ireland. Yes.
wrote the story that John Ford's wonderful film, the star, Duke Wayne and, and Maureen O'Hara, uh, The Quiet Man. Because a fire was in my head and cut and peeled a hazel wand and hooked a berry to a thread and when white moths were on the wing and the moth-like stars were flickering out, I dropped the berry in the stream and caught a little silver trout. When I had laid it on the floor, I went hilly lands. I will find out where she is gone, and kiss her lips, and take her hands, and walk among long. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a... <laughs> anyway, we can get an artist to work on it if you think it isn't like him enough. Jay. <laughs> so, I wanted to tell you one of my, my favourite stories about as you would have a drink and someone buys you one, you have to buy one back for everyone that's there. And Sean never would. We call him Sean, I'm on my own actually, or Shay. But Sean was a teacher. this <laughs> well be our guest on your first visit here as Prime Minister and we're especially happy to have you at that pipes and shamrocks in the day when everyone is Irish or as the saying has it wishes they were in the United States especially the impact of the Emerald Isle on our culture and history is enormous America is today because of the Irish, a richer, brighter, freer, from some place from Notre Dame. Back in the days of the great Prince Rodney, when Notre Dame was the giant of football world, it was between halves one day at a game when... <laughs> <laughs> Proportions after the great famine of the 1840s. 
strong tradition indeed. The identities of the two traditions in our island and to suggest new political structures that could accommodate both of them are the main tasks to which we and the Senate of the people of our island have dedicated ourselves through the unique deliberations of the New Ireland Forum. In undertaking this task, Mr. President, let me say how much we in Ireland. It was the great Abraham Lincoln who wrote, among free men, there can be no successful appeal aimed by certain violent men in our island to take power with a ballot box in one hand and an arm like rifle in the other. May I turn to your forthcoming visit with your wife, wife to Ireland? Already, this visit is the subject. Here's me a foil, as we say now, a hundred thousand pounds. President, I've already presented you with some shamrock. We had a little difficulty. I tried pinning it down, but there, uh, partly because of my concern to make sure I didn't actually physically assault the president I stayed in the city. <laughs> I totally failed. The president took over the job himself and did it very neatly and quickly. <laughs> but um, if I might formally present you with a, uh, a bowl of Irish shamrock, so you see something to go around the whole family. <laughs>